Zoe Bell Olive. Hi, sweetie. Daddy loves you, honey. Oh, boy, we've had a busy morning, guys. Yeah, we started with rescuing a little bird this morning. That was really awesome once we saw it all working out for the best. I'll go check on that a little later just to make sure. But we're dealing with something uh, with Zoe here. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, just She's so delicate, guys. Having the Fanconi's disease, um, you know, but definitely weakens everything about her. Uh, she's always been frail her whole life. That's why she looks the way she does. It's not been a neglect or anything like that. Anyway, um, because of this, everything deteriorates faster. Um, last night, or the night before in bed, uh, I noticed a smell under the covers from her mouth. And I'm like, oh. Well, all day yesterday, she got really lethargic, wouldn't wouldn't eat, wouldn't, you know, didn't want to get up. Um, and the smell got worse. You could smell it by putting her in her playpen so that she was safe. And you could smell it as soon as you stuck your head in the playpen. So anyway... Um, naturally we start freaking out and I reached out to the vet and they got me in first thing this morning I love my vet. Middletown vet is awesome Shelby thank you so much for the attention that you gave me um, and of course not just that but the the reassurance that everything's gonna be okay she's better she's doing much better I guess I'm a hypochondriac um, she's doing much better than I thought she is um, and she did perk up this morning I took gave her a little clava mox last night to try to start the infection fighting and it seems to have worked a little bit she was perkier this morning still does not want to eat though so anyway, we get her in, and we find out that one of her fangs, she doesn't have many teeth left, right, Zoe Bell? Hi, baby girl. How's my pretty lady? I know, sweetheart. She doesn't have many teeth left, um, but she does have all her fangs, and one of the fangs is actually bleeding um, up into the gums, and that apparently goes up in the sinuses, so you get where this whole infection thing could be running down her throat and really making her feel like shit. Excuse my language. Um, so anyway, talking with the doctors, we're going to get her in, and, and um, this is where it gets hairy for me, guys. Um... You know, we're going to get her in. we got to get that dental done. But she's 10 years old. She's got a heart murmur. She's all of 2.2 pounds. Yes, that's right. 2.2 pounds. Um, so today, you know, we got brought her in there. He, he examined her and everything. We got the appointment scheduled. Um, we had to give her some... She wasn't terribly dehydrated, but he gave her some subcutaneous fluids with a B12 shot, hoping, he, hoping that'll give her some energy. Um, and what else did we do? I think that's... Oh, and then he gave me, of course, the, uh, the amoxicillin. We're going to switch over to amoxicillin for her. And give that her give that to her over the next seven days. Um, her appointment's not till June eighth, unfortunately. But I have two scheduled for next week. We got lots of dentals going on. Um, so if, if she gets worse or she starts to go downhill um, because she is so delicate and fragile and doesn't take long, uh, this is why I'm a hypochondriac. The moment something starts with her, it's not like a Rottweiler. Where I got a week or two to figure it out. We get we get days, if not hours. So anyway, if uh, long story short, if we need to, we'll get her in Tuesday of next week, and we'll just switch one of the other dogs out that don't that needs it but doesn't need it quite as bad um so prayers for zoe and again those those of you that went in there was a nice surprise today i don't i don't get a ton of donations through the vet um but those of you that do donate through them um it's amazing thank you so much uh, there was a 300 hundred dollar credit on my account today which paid for this exam obviously um so i want to thank you guys so much and again a big shout out to middletown veterinary clinic um shelby you're awesome dr owens you're awesome uh so yeah so thank you guys so much Zoe's going to be doing fine, but I just want to give everybody an update. Poor little baby girl. We're going to go in and try to get her fed now. I know, baby.